Dan Hurley has transformed Rhode Island's men's basketball program into a top-level team in the Atlantic 10. The 45-year-old just coached the school to NCAA tournament wins in consecutive seasons for the first time in its history. The Rams also won a regular season league title this year. It was the first time they did that since 1981, point is, when you get results that have never been done, or haven't been done in decades, your name is going to be attached to bigger jobs. For Hurley, a New Jersey native built to thrive in the Northeast basketball scene, the timing is fortuitous. Pitt and UConn have fired their coaches with haste and are hoping to stick them with cause as means to save money. Both schools are courting Hurley for their openings. Rhode Island, oh by the way, would like to keep its coach around. So as all of this is going on, Rams athletic director Thor Bjorn is going to need to rally a lot of money and make a hell of a pitch to keep Hurley on campus, as of Tuesday morning, no decision has been made. A lot of people are curious as to what Hurley is going to do, his choice should be one of the two or three biggest on the coaching carousel this year, let's look at the options on the table. Connecticut obviously the proudest program of the three. UConn has four national titles since 1999 and even despite an aggressive dip in stature in the past four years due to uncourt performance, and the move from the Big East to the American Athletic Conference, it's still considered a top 40 job in college basketball at this point, but is it? Did Jim Calhoun build Connecticut into something sustainable long term? Whether or not UConn can land Hurley will say plenty about where the program stands now. Once upon a time UConn was a job you would never turn down. The fact it is up for grabs with a program that's not even in the top eight jobs in the ACC is telling, Hurley would be the best possible hire for UConn at this point in terms of this combination, he's a name, a respected X and O tactician, a media savvy coach and someone who is going to be able to sell tickets. He checks almost all the boxes. The fan base would be invigorated with the hire, the American is not as good or deep as the ACC. Hurley, he'll weigh how much conference affiliation matters and whether he's okay with being paid less than at Pitt. UConn is a state school, and at the moment, the state of Connecticut is going through an extended budget crisis. UConn will not be able to pay Hurley as much as Pitt. Will money win out over opportunity, the fan base also hates the league and wishes it were back in the Big East or teamed up with football in the ACC. As things stand, UConn is a top three job in the American. There is a lot to be said for that. Pittsburgh is nowhere close to that in the ACC, there is also the issue of UConn's NBA alumni. How likely are they to embrace their alma mater so soon after all he was canned? Having NBA players around your program can do wonders for recruiting. Ollie's firing could potentially stall a normally reliable benefit to coaching the Huskies. With former NBA star Penny Hardaway coming into the league to coach Memphis, this would put even more recruiting pressure on Hurley. Hardaway is highly likely to annually stack four- and five-star talent that comes out of the greater Memphis area. UConn should be considered the favorite, but it's not a no-brainer. Pittsburgh is the ceiling at Pitt lower than the ceiling at UConn? Fair to say that is the perception, Pittsburgh's pitch is compelling, though, it's in the better league, in a better city and it can pay more than UConn while not bringing as much pressure from the fan bass. Connecticut fans expect NCAA tournament wins every year and a Final Four level team every two or three years. At Pitt, if you can make it into the NCAAs every other season, you're going to be okay for almost a decade. Jamie Dixon made the big dance almost every year he was there, but given the Stallings disaster, perhaps Panthers fans now realize how good they once had it and are less greedy, Hurley would no doubt have a longer leash at Pitt. Getting to the NCAA tournament might prove to be easier out of the ACC than the American because of the opportunities to play top 50 opponents, money is obviously huge here. Pitt has the resources to probably throw around $3 million annually at Hurley. What will UConn be able to produce to compete with that? If Pitt is putting a million more per year on the table, how do you turn that down? It's much more money with much less pressure, and hey, maybe you get it going and wind up coaching in the ACC as Roy Williams, Mike Krzyzewski and Jim Boheim opt to retire in the coming years. That's intriguing, at Pitt, you also don't have someone like Jim Calhoun to live up to. Is Pitt a better job, not a program, just the job, than UConn currently?